Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss one more text function in Power BI called as exact. Let's look at the definition and the syntax and then try to implement it in PBI with the help of an example. Here is the definition and the syntax. Compares two text strings and returns true if they are exactly the same, false otherwise. Exact is case sensitive, but ignores formatting difference. So we have the syntax here and it takes two parameter, text one and text two. And written value is either true or false. So basically if you, it has the ability to compare only two text strings, okay? So text one and text two. If you want to compare more than three columns or three text fields, it's not possible with the exact function. So let's go to PBI and with the help of an example, let's try to implement this. Here is the PBI and we have some sample data set. So I have a customer ID, title, first name, first name lower and the first name too, which is a copy of the first name. So one more important point while using the exact function is, exact is case sensitive, but it's not format sensitive, okay? So if you have a different formatting for the text, right? It still ignores it. So now let's try to use the exact function and create a new column here. Call this as exact example equal to, let's try to compare the first name and then the first name in lowercase. We know it's case sensitive. Okay, so we have the first name and first name lower. So the case is different, right? So we have the first character in upper case, but in first name lower, it's all in smaller case or lower case. And hence we are getting false. And let's look at, let's compare with first name with the first name too. Both the letters are same, the characters are same. And now let's try to do. Use exact, call this as exact. Example two equal to exact first name with first name two. I should get true because both are same. And I'm getting the right results here. And this is how we can use exact function in PBI according to our requirement and the problem we are trying to solve we should be using the exact function. Hope this video is helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.